Welcome to Sunday School for ages 9 to 11 for September 20th, 2020. The topic is when loving is complicated. The Bible basis is found in Genesis chapter 42 verses 6 through 25. I do not own the rights to this music. Anton high-fived his friends while finding the desk with his name tag. Hey man, where have you been? We wondered if you moved, said Charlie. Yeah, I spent the summer on my grandparents' farm in Missouri. With a grin, Anton added, I even drove granddad's tractor. Summer with his grandparents had been fun after last year's stressful school year. Anton didn't mention why he went away. His counselor suggested the idea to his mom. Anton had become really sad last spring when his dad suddenly moved out. To make matters worse, kids picked on him when he cried so easily. But this is a new school year, he thought, a fresh start. Just as the bell rang, Gordon rushed in. A knot tightened in Anton's stomach. Gordon plopped down right behind him. Gordon was the one who gave him the most grief last year. Anton's body tightened as Gordon gently tapped his shoulder. Here we go, Anton thought. Will this be a replay of last year? Anton turned around, bracing himself for ridicule. To his surprise, Gordon had an uneasy look. Hey, Anton, I worried about seeing you again. I felt guilty all summer because I was so mean to you. I'm sorry. I want to ask for a truce. You think we can squash last year and be cool? What do you think Anton should say? How might God bring healing to both boys? The Bible says that blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. The Bible says also in Matthew chapter 18, verses 21 to 22. Then came Peter to him and said, Lord, how oft shall my brother sin against me and I forgive him? Till seven times? Jesus saith unto him, I say not unto thee until seven times, but until seventy times seven. The Bible says in 1 John chapter 1, verse 9, If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. The Bible says in James chapter 5, verse 16, Confess your faults one to another and pray for one another that ye may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. The lesson scripture, Genesis chapter 42, verses 6 through 25. And Joseph was the governor over the land. And he it was that sold to all the people of the land. And Joseph's brethren came and bowed down themselves before him with their faces to the earth. And Joseph saw his brethren, and he knew them, but made himself strange unto them, and spake roughly unto them. And he said unto them, Whence come ye? And they said, From the land of Canaan, to buy food. And Joseph knew his brethren, but they knew not him. And Joseph remembered the dreams which he dreamed of them, and said unto them, Ye are spies, to see the nakedness of the land ye are come. And they said unto him, Nay, my lord, but to buy food are thy servants come. We are all one man's sons, we are true men, thy servants are no spies. And he said unto them, Nay, but to see the nakedness of the land ye are come. And they said, Thy servants are twelve brethren, the sons of one man in the land of Canaan. And behold, 
The youngest is this day with our father, and one is not. And Joseph said unto them, That is it that I spake unto you, saying, Ye are spies. Hereby ye shall be proved. By the life of Pharaoh you shall not go forth hence, except your youngest brother come hither. Send one of you, and let him fetch your brother, and ye should be kept in prison, that your words may be proved, whether there be any truth in you, or else by the life of Pharaoh, surely ye are spies. And he put them all together into war three days. And Joseph said unto them, The third day, this do and live, for I fear God. If ye be true men, let one of your brethren be bound in the house of your prison. Go ye, carry corn for the famine of your houses, but bring your youngest brother unto me. So shall your words be verified, and ye shall not die. And they did so. And they said one to another, We are verily guilty concerning our brother, and that we saw the anguish of his soul when he besought us and we would not hear. Therefore is this distress come upon us. And Reuben answered them, saying, Spake I not unto you, saying, Do not sin against the child, and ye will not hear? Therefore, behold, also his blood is required. And they knew not that Joseph understood them, for he spake unto them by an interpreter, and he turned himself about from them and wept, and returned to them again, and communed with them, and took from them Simeon, and bound him before their eyes. Then Joseph commanded to fill their sacks with corn, and to restore every man's money into his sack and to give them provision for the way. And thus did he unto them. The Bible says in Ephesians chapter 4, verses 25 to 32, Wherefore, putting away lying, speak every man truth with his neighbor, for ye are members one of another. Be ye angry, and sin not. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath, neither give place to the devil. Let him that stole steal no more, but rather let him labor, working with his hands the thing which is good, that he may have to give to him that need it. Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good to the use of edifying, that it may minister grace unto the hearers. And grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby ye are sealed unto the day of redemption. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. And be ye kind one to another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, even as God for Christ's sake hath forgiven you. Romans chapter 12, verses 14 through 21. Bless them which persecute you. Bless and curse not. Rejoice with them that do rejoice, and weep with them that weep. Be of the same mind, one toward another. Mind not high things, but condescend to men of low estate, be not wise in your own conceits. Recompense to no man evil for evil. Provide things honest in the sight of all men. If it be possible, as much as lieth in you, live peaceably with all men. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath. For it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, saith the Lord. Therefore, if thine enemy hunger, feed him. If he thirst, give him drink. For in so doing, thou shalt heap coals of fire on his head. Be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. Matthew chapter 5, 
verses 43 to 48. Ye have heard that it hath been said, Thou shalt love thy neighbor and hate thine enemy. But I say unto you, Love your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you, that ye may be the children of your Father, which is in heaven, for he maketh his son to rise on the evil and on the good, and sendeth rain on the just and on the unjust. For if ye love them which love you, what reward have ye? Do not even the publicans the same? And if ye salute your brethren only, what do ye more than others? Do not even the publicans so? Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father, which is in heaven, is perfect. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 4 through 7. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, and always perseveres. God bless you. And thank you for joining me today.